Welcome back, everybody. Now, many women dream of attending Fashion Week in New York, but sadly, many of us will never get that chance. <laughs> <sighs> but that's okay, because this morning, we are getting a full recap of New York Fashion Week from celebrity stylist and fashion influencer, Crystal Ponzi Ponzi. Hello. Thank Hi. you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. It feels so good to be back home, though. You just got back. I did. I, last week, but it's a little bit of a jet lag, and once I got back home, it was right into it there was the hawaii 50 premiere that i helped style a few guests there and so today's a monday <laughs> or tuesday <laughs> it's tuesday but i understand tuesday. what you mean it feels like a monday absolutely um, for people who may not be familiar with mm -hmm. new york fashion week can you kind of tell us what that is so new york fashion week it really is an industry event so you know i mean everyone you know resonates it with sex in the city and the carrie diaries and sitting front row and having that experience but really what fashion week is it's an industry think of it as a worldwide convention so for new york all the new york or american designers you know have a chance to showcase their collections to media buyers celebrities so that way for the next season which is so in September, we're six months in advance, mm -hmm. we're seeing everything that's going to be happening in spring and summer next year. So it's our preview. Oh. And that really what sets the trends for what we're as editors or stylists, fashion influencers are going to be talking about within that next upcoming season. Okay, so, so you when have you to were be there, invited to go. When you were there, you were, you were looking at fashions for spring. Yeah, so New York Fashion Week was spring, summer, 2017 collections. And in New York, it celebrates all the New York, or all the American design houses. And then right after New York, it goes to Milan, which is all the European design houses, like Dolce Gabbana, which had an amazing one, which I haven't gone yet, which is on the next bucket list. <laughs> and then it ends off at Paris Fashion Week. So that's really like the three weeks of Fashion Week where all the um, designers really showcase their collections. And, you know, women too, we dream, we can go, you know, to sit front row. But now it's so accessible with social media. There's so many influencers now sitting front row because you can watch vicariously through sure. their Snapchats. And we now... Um, uh, we embrace the getting the tidbit behind the scenes and not having to wait a whole year. You were really good about uh, keeping us all informed and updated with your blog. But we'll talk more <laughs> about that later. Yeah, yeah. Um, what shows did you get to attend? Oh gosh, there's so many. So once you get to Fashion Week, I mean, you get you have to get invited. So I, unfortunately, I didn't get invited to everyone, or um, I came in right just when it hit. But um, I tried to go as much as possible. Can you just imagine? There's a show every hour on the hour from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So you're buzzing around the city, trying to beat traffic, trying to figure everything out. Oh. So sometimes you miss it. The big shows I think that resonates with Hawaii a lot um, that I was excited about was Tori Birch, mm -hmm. Alice and Olivia. I went to the Macy's um, Fashion Front Row kickoff party, which happened in Madison Square Garden. So that was fall fashion trend. Ariana Grande led the whole concert. So it was music, fashion, a huge celebration the day before Fashion Week kicked off. So that was really, and I saw a local boy on there. Hudson Taylor was a model. Oh, wow. Yeah, so exciting. So it was really fun to, that, you know, really kick off some fall fashion and then go into some really design, big design houses. What I was really excited about was that I was invited to really great private presentations. So a lot of designers are now scaling down to have small private presentations to showcase a one-on-one -on -one experience with industry influencers. Mm -hmm. And I got to really go in and sit with Kimora Lee Simmons. She has an exclusive line available in Hawaii at Bloomingdale's. And so I got to see her luxury line. But here we're showing Tori Birch, which, you know, Tori Birch is all about just romance and prep net, preppiness and you know, there's Kimora. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> so now we've let's been friends. jump right in. What mm -hmm. are some of the trends that you saw on the runway? So trends for spring, summer. I mean, I always feel like there's such an influence of romance. And I think this is the, the reason why I go in September all the time is because Hawaii is spring, summer, 24-7, year, <laughs> year round. So it's hard for me to, you know, sell fall and fur, fur coats. But, you know, a lot of romantic um, colors, embroidery, everything is very much embroidered. Everything is very embellished, so patches. Um, and I think women are now going back to playing back into the closet. 
where they're taking out really big um, floral pieces or big statement jewelry that they've had on that's more costume. So like taking, for example, like Dolce Guana, it's like a women's play closet. Alice Olivia, Alice and Olivia, who I love, it's always fashion fun. Mm -hmm. And she had a fashion presentation where it was just like Disneyland and everything is all about the full skirt like the long full skirt and you see here there's like a rainbow cascading one floral prints so again like really embracing that feminine part of being a woman although you're still you know a, sure. a boss babe <laughs> <laughs> of course now we mentioned we alluded to this earlier but i want to hear about this new blog that you just launched yes so that was partly why so i partnered with a creative team called brain eye creative and so now the will of our world and you know this social media is just really taking off in so many different directions and it's so important the big pineapple diaries is a passion project that I had for about eight years and it really is a journal of my insight the things I've done but now we just put it to a blog where it's beauty fashion lifestyle sharing tips trends my travel experiences my experiences as a mom and also you know all the recommendations I have in terms of products things that I know that I work with and it's really for a voice for our fashion community mm -hmm. to inspire women all around the world especially for women in Hawaii so even if we can't go to the Big Apple we can bring it back to the Big Pineapple and it's the Pineapple Diary the Big Pineapple the big Diary pineapple so diaries. Okay. yes from the Big Pineapple to the Big Apple. <laughs> Terrific. Well, you mentioned some of the trends that's happening yeah. right now, but a little bit later, you're going to be back uh, and you brought some models with you today. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to do fall trends. Okay. So what's happening now? Because I know sometimes it's hard to really grasp fall in Hawaii. Well, I have to laugh because when I saw you, you know, when we were passing by, we looked at each other and we're like, oh my gosh. So this must be, we must be on trend. We are trendy. <laughs> Is this the trend off the shoulder? And the ears, every, oh, the earrings are earrings. having a moment again. So I'm so <laughs> excited about that. I walked in, I was like, wow. So yes, guys, off shoulder is the, uh, the silhouette of the season. Okay. It went from summer to now and you can take it to work. Terrific. Well, thank <laughs> you so much, Crystal, for being here. It's always a lot of fun when you're here. Um, and we look forward to the next segment where we're going to try and recreate some of those uh, looks for fall. Yes, absolutely. Okay, perfect.